guys and welcome back to my channel my name's Donna and this is Bride to Be TV now we've got a little bit different a setup today because I haven't got much time but I did want to just pop on this week and tell you a little bit about the legalities of getting married now one thing that a lot of brides are a little bit confused about is the whole registrar process so I just wanted to quickly run through what that actually involves so with a registrar, um, you need to contact the registrar um, about 12 months before you want to get married and let them know of your intentions. You'll then need to make a notice to the registrar, which means an appointment between 12 months and I think it's um, like a month before your wedding date, where you have to go in, show them all the paperwork to prove that you are legally eligible to marry your other half. So any previous divorce papers, your birth certificates, your passports, show that you are legal for this country, um, etc they will let you know all of those details but then on the wedding day something that a lot of bride and grooms don't realize is that you have to actually have an interview with the registrar before you get married this is basically just a little quick overview of everything you've already spoken about and just to declare that nothing has changed and that you are still able free and willing to marry your other half um, and what I've found is a lot of brides panic and go but I don't want him to see me before we walk down the aisle don't panic um, you don't have to see your other half um, it can be arranged with the um, place that you're the venue that you're getting married at that he has his interview first they'll then shift him off into another room separate so he can't see you and they'll usher you through to have your interview done and then once you've had your interview done he will be waiting at the end of the aisle and you'll be able to go ahead and get married and have that first look so don't panic about that so basically, once you've decided you want to get married and you've found somewhere that you want to get married at, you'll usually book that place uh, provisionally while you go and arrange the registrar. So once you've found a place, um, you need to say, we really want to get married here, can you hold the date for us? They will usually give you 7 to 14 days so that you can ring the registrar. Uh, you then ring the registrar and let them know when you plan to get married and what time and they will let you know if there's a registrar available. Now it may be that there's not one available at a specific time but they can do later or earlier in the day or you might have to look at changing the day slightly. So it's always good to get um, information from your venue um, if this day isn't available can you do the following Saturday the previous Saturday or are the Fridays available for instance so whatever you're comfortable with get a few dates from the venue as alternative dates if you need them book your registrar then call up the venue and say okay we're ready to book and pay your deposit for the venue then you go and do your notice interview between 12 months and uh, I think it's four weeks, but you just need to go on to um, your local county council website, type in registrar and all of the information will come up. Um, they've got really good information back in Northamptonshire. Um, oh, I'm really sorry about my skin, guys. It's awful. Um, so, yeah, do that and you, you'll all be legal and everything will be hunky-dory. Now, one thing that I did just want to suggest to you, and this may be a little bit controversial, um, is something that's become more and more popular over the last few years. Um, certainly happens a lot more in America than it does here. Um, but something that I think is actually really nice is to actually do a first look with your partner now for me a wedding is all about you and your partner making declarations and promising each other that you're going to look after each other be with each other through thick and thin for the next however many years you're left on this planet and to me that is very very personal now we like to celebrate with our families but I still think it's a very personal thing so the thing that I love about first look is it is just the two of you and usually your photographer is somewhere uh, orchestrating it so um, they might say okay the groom's going to come and stand here you're going to go walk up to him tap him on the shoulder and then you're going to have your moment which he can capture or she can capture on film um and it's just this moment between the two of you where you see each other for the first time 
on your wedding day and you just get that moment together just to say wow um, and just have a moment before the day gets started and I think that is really actually very beautiful. Um, you're going to get an emotional reaction uh, because it's the first time you're seeing each other so you're going to be emotional. However, there is still going to be emotion when you walk down the aisle even though he's already seen you because everybody else will be seeing you for the first time and I like to think that your partner is going to be so proud to be watching you walk down and seeing how everybody else is reacting to you that they're going to get emotional for a second time because of that anyway. So don't see it that it's going to lose some of its pizzazz for when you walk down the aisle because I don't think it does. I don't think it detracts from that because it's a different setup. But just having that moment and then you can actually do your interviews together um, if you wanted to. So think of that as a, another option is to have that first look, look just that moment between the two of you first thing on your wedding day um when you're all ready to go just have that moment just to to be with each other and remind each other this is all about us and this is about what we want um before you go and uh, greet the family and friends so that's it for this week hopefully next week we will have better lighting and a better setup and I will be a little bit more with it but the car broke down today so everything kind of went wrong so um I will see you guys next week don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when a new video comes out and it's probably down that way because I'm back to front but Anyhow, um, I will see you guys next week. Um, please share and like and go and have a look at some of the other videos um, if you want help with planning your day. Bye for now.